I hate labels. <laughs> you know, you say lawyer, plumber, electrician, doctor, unemployed, and right away we have images. We really do have have images, and uh, all those images are not necessarily true or correct. In fact. There's very few things that we do which are accurate and correct. For example, your memory. You have a good memory, an infallible memory. You never forget, right? They have, they have countless uh, studies, not countless, numerous studies. One of them was just re rather in our time. They asked people one or two days after 9-11, where were you when you heard the news? What were you doing? What was your reaction? And they, they, they did a follow-up. Three months later, they asked the same question, and there was a discrepancy of close to 25%. And then they asked the same question six months after the three months. Where were you? What were you doing? And it changed. I, th I don't remember the exact statistic. I think maybe 50% had a completely different story. When they were told, uh, you told us this last time, they said, no, 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 that was not accurate. <laughs> this is accurate. You know, uh, many people get their information from online sources. Accurate? Not accurate. Okay. Let's do a thought, a, a thought uh, test. You Google Hasidim. It has a picture of two Hasidim with a fur hat called a Shrimal, and they have full beards. And it says, uh, this is a group that came from Europe X amount of years ago. They live very traditionally. The women are very, very modest. In fact, uh, they're fanatic about their religion. In fact, some people, even in Israel, there's even a fringe group that's so irate when people desecrate the Shabbos, they throw stones. Okay. So now, you've never seen a chassid in your life, but you're intrigued about the, about the description. So you send a messenger, and you say, bring me back two chassidim. And this guy, his GPS is not very good, so he, he lands in, <laughs> in Asia somewhere, and finds two Cossacks <laughs> wearing a fur hat, and they have full beards, and brings them back. Here are your chassidim. And you say to the Cossacks, teach me Torah. And they don't know what you're talking about. You say, okay, let's go to the next one. Find me some women that are very, very modestly dressed. So he goes to Afghanistan. <laughs> he brings back two women very modestly dressed. He can't see anything. All he sees is their eyes. No, no, that's not the Hasidim. Okay, could you please find, do the accurate one, find me someone who's really a zealot that, uh, that, would, that would throw a stone because someone is driving on Shabbos. Okay, so they go to the West Bank and they bring back two terrorists. <laughs> so where am I going with all of this? Where I'm going with all of this is that there's a lot of things that, or many things that we think about that, that we define, we remember. It's neither a definition nor a remembrance which leads us to the present time. If you were to ask a, a Jewish person, are you a good Jew? Do you practice? Um, are you observant? Do you go to the synagogue? And he'll, he'll cringe a little bit and say, well, not really. Okay, are you going to the synagogue on, uh, on Yom Kippur? Uh, of course. Uh, did you hear the shofar? Yeah, I, I, I heard the shofar. I was in the park and the, some Chabad rabbi came and blew the shofar for me. You know, you're a really very good Jew. What are you talking about? I'm not practicing. He said, you know something? We have different ways of looking at things. And when God sees uh, what you're thinking, when you heard the shofar, what were you thinking? Well, I tell you the truth, I wasn't sure what to think. I just realized that I'm a Jew and it's a holiday and God wants me to hear the shofar, so I heard it. And when it's going to come on Yom Kippur, what are you going to be thinking? He said, well, I don't know, to tell you the truth. I don't know much of Hebrew, and frankly, I don't care for the rabbi's sermons, but I'm a Jew, you know, on, on Yom Kippur. My father told me, you go to the synagogue. So essentially, it's this time of the year where the most essential and true, genuine part of the Jew comes out. It's just sometimes embarrassing 
that we have such a, a special time of the year, what's, what's sometimes called the high holidays, and that we don't take it with us. But my friends, if you're listening to this, so let me just remind you, all of us, without exception, the Jewish people, we're wonderful. We remember Sinai even if we don't. We're observant even if we don't do. And I'm not telling you not to put on film or keep Shabbos. On the contrary, you're more religious than you think. And then why deny it? Why not celebrate it? Shalom. Shalom.